Welcome back to The Breakfast this morning. We are now going to be moving into a conversation that has a lot to do with our National Assembly and legislative aids. If you remember, in 2018, there was a proposed strike and, of course, um, a little protest in the National Assembly complex uh, where the legislative aides had demanded that the outstanding salaries be paid. 2020, December, we're back at it again. Similar story, similar incidents. Of course, they have given a 48-hour ultimatum. Ultimatum starting um, today. Yeah, exactly. That, uh, of course, once again, demanding that their outstanding salaries be paid. It makes you question... Who is mismanaging the funds in the National Assembly that should be paid to these legislative aides? We've invited our uh, correspondent, our um, Abuja correspondent, uh, Amadine Uyi, to quickly share uh, um, thoughts latest. on what's going on. Good morning, uh, um, Amadine Uyi. Good morning, uh, and uh, Good to see you again. Presenter. <laughs> okay, just bring us up to speed. What's the latest with this um, um, agitation by the legislative aides? You were at the National Assembly yesterday. Okay, now, uh, there are two major issues that uh, the aides or the, the association, Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria, are looking. First of all, it's the salary issue. Uh, that had been going on for several years where they had uh, ins uh, insisted that uh, they wanted to be put into the revised uh, legislative aid salary scale called consolidated legislative aid salary scale called uh, CONLESS. Then also the other issue was for auto autonomy of uh, the state legislatures. Remember that the Parliamentary Staff Association cuts across not only staff of the National Assembly, also staff of the uh, various state legislatures. And we know that we have been talking about autonomy for several years. If we uh, go back uh, to history, uh, recently, sometime in uh, July, I think July, President Mohamed Buhari signed Executive Order 10 which insisted that, uh, which empowered the Attorney General to deduct funds from state uh, legislature funds, uh, which are not paid to state legislatures and the judiciary. The executive order term was called uh, financial autonomy for state legislatures and uh, judiciary. Okay. Um, what, what, what's your thinking about the planned protest? Is it going to happen today? Now, we spoke to the uh, president of the National Chairman of the Parliamentary Staff Association of Nigeria. He says that they are still dialoguing with uh, the leadership of the National Assembly that they will meet today. In fact, he did not want to preempt himself. He said there will be a very important meeting today with the leadership of the National Assembly, and that after that meeting, he will make the position known. Uh, he will make the position known uh, whether they will embark on the strike. So, because the negotiations will be on today, I don't think uh, the strike will commence today. Yesterday at the National Assembly, uh, activities went on as normal, but it will be uh, a very difficult. Uh, situation if the uh, parliamentary staff go on strike. All right. Um, um, Amadi Uye, let, let's, you know, I want your thoughts on the, the similarities between the protest in 2018 under the Eighth Assembly. Of course, uh, Bukala Saraki was Senate uh, President back then. Um, w what may have happened that, you know, has led, you know, to it once again um, taking place in the, the Ninth Assembly? How come these issues weren't sorted out uh, in the last two years? No, I think uh, in the last two years, there was a bit of progress. Then remember that the current president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawa, he was the uh, Senate majority leader. And he was one of the persons that was in the forefront of the negotiations, forefront of interaction. But uh, when we tried to follow up, we realized that at a certain time, some of those allowances and salaries were paid. 
but that's why I said that the, the current protest is not strictly focusing on allowances and salary. It's also uh, the main thrust of the process of the protest is the financial autonomy for state legislators and judiciary. Allowances, these are things that are recurring monthly and yearly, and they get to be paid. Uh, if a few months are old, uh, the staff would uh, cry out and call on the management to intervene. Also, remember that this is, the, this is the festive season in Nigeria. The Christmas holidays will be a few days now. So it is not surprising if any unpaid allowances or salaries, or if the staff are demanding that they should get the unpaid allowances or salaries. But when you compare 2018 to 2020, I think over the years there has been a bit of progress. I covered the protest in 2018 where activities in the National Assembly were virtually grounded for some days before they were called to the negotiation, the negotiation table. But this time around, uh, one of the main thrusts of the protest is financial autonomy. And the, and the refusal of state governors and the Nigerian governors forum to implement executive order 10, which states that uh, whenever funds are disbursed, remember that it's a joint account. Yes. The, the, the states have a joint account with their uh, legislature and the local government. Now, the executive order 10 says that in as much as the money is coming in bulk, that based on the budget, Monies accruing to the judiciary, monies accruing to the state legislature should be released. And the governors or the Nigerian governors, the, the governors who form uh, members of the Nigerian Governors Forum should not withhold these monies. Uh, if we follow the phrase, uh, he that pays the piper dictates the tune. Yeah, but... The governors want to exert a level of control on their state legislatures and the judiciary. That is why they want to be able to be the ones to disburse the funds because they believe that if they can down their activities, then uh, there will be a, they, they can reduce confrontation between these three arms of government. So is, is, there, is there any other way that these aides can make their points known or, you know, um, aside shutting down the National Assembly or, or, you know, carrying out the strike? Is there any other way that they can maybe make their points known? Because now you've brought in the, the no, I, perspective I, of the Nigerian I, Governors Forum. Now, now uh, the, the, the idea is uh, strike is actually a last option. Uh, currently, just as the president confirmed yesterday when uh, Plus TV Africa engaged in, uh, they are currently uh, negotiating. They will be meeting today for a high-level meeting to dialogue on the ways forward. It is if that they cannot, because the parliamentary uh, workers believe that if they can exert some pressure on the National Assembly, the National Assembly can in turn exert this same pressure on the federal government. And the federal government has the muscle uh, to be able to uh, call the governors to order that you cannot continue to breach the nation's constitution because of self-serving or self, uh, selfish interest. But remember, also remember that it is not all governors that are, are, are not all governors who are in breach of executive order 10. Yes. We could not get a list of them between yesterday and today. But I remember of recent when uh, Plus TV Africa was engaged in an investigation over unpaid salar salaries, allowances, promotion, uh, areas of staff in the FCT. When this investigation was brought to the office of the minister of the FCT, who is holding forth as the governor of the FCT for the president, the minister said, wow, in the FCT, the ministry does not touch any uh, disbursement that comes from the federal government to the local government. So this is a local government problem. Our teachers under our own payroll, under the universal basic education, they are, they've gotten their allowances, they've gotten okay. their salaries, but it is the teachers under the local government education authority who have not gotten it. So it is not everybody that is in breach of it. Okay, uh, uh, Amadine, you've really given us a background on what's going on and uh, we will definitely be coming back to you for an update. Thank you very much uh, for the work that you do. Thank you, Felicity.
right? Uh, strike and strike and strike. Teachers are threatening to go on strike over the kidnap of the um, students in Kaduna State. Uh, we also know ASU is on strike. We just talked about ASU situation. Now legislative aides are threatening to shut down a business. But it does worry me, though. 2019, 20, they're yeah, talking about 2019. Does that imply that 2020 has not been paid? How are they coping in a pandemic? You know, it's Christmas also. You know, how do you how do you celebrate Christmas with you know outstanding mm -hmm. salaries and and you know it's really maybe a lot of debt? I I don't I Nigeria really sometimes you hear these things and you just get really really weak. And that's honestly how I feel. <laughs> Um, when I hear these type of stories. Uh, let's see what happens in the coming days. Uh, they said they, they are having a conversation with uh, the authorities of the National Assembly. Um, maybe by the close of work today, we'll get an update if they will continue with this strike, they will proceed with the strike, or they will call it off if they come to a compromise with uh, the authorities. The conversation Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.